The Great Barrier Reef is special because A, it's the, the largest marine system or reef system anywhere on the planet. It's one of the most diverse ecosystems anywhere on the planet and it's also one of the most accessible. It attracts nearly two million a year at the moment and uh, that number is uh, increasing year on year. It's a really humbling experience when you first snorkel uh, or dive on the Great Barrier Reef. The, the complexity, the diversity, the abundance of life is, is really quite breathtaking when you, when you see it and it still has that effect. I, I can go to the same spots and still have that same experience today. I get such a kick out of watching people going in the water and wow and the lights up off their faces and the little kids when they get close to a turtle or a manta ray. It's so exciting, it's, it's, it's worth more than gold in my mind. Well, currently the uh, reef contributes over five and a half billion directly out of tourism but in the wider community the economic benefits that could flow on it's been estimated 15 to 25 billion. There's over uh, 730 tourism operators and they employ over 64,000 full-time people and the wider reef employs about 69,000. Coral can't live out of the water for more than a couple of hours. Tourism is an amazingly important asset for the Great Barrier Reef. I came here as a, as a visitor and I fell in love with the reef. I'd never seen the reef before. I'd never seen so much diversity of fish life, of coral, of bird life. The excitement to me was amazing and, and I had this burning desire to want to enjoy it, to share it and protect it. We love guests to come out here, to see it, to fall in love with it and then they will go away and protect it. And we just go in carefully. Just like the islands evolved, we've evolved and learned. We don't use little plastic water bottles. We, we only have recyclable water bottles. We turn glass back into sand. We fly all of our recyclable rubbish off in the airplanes every day. We use airplanes that have got the best fuel burn per passenger seat mile to minimise that environmental impact. We've reduced our fuel burn from 550 litres of diesel a day to around 100 litres a day or about 50,000 litres a year. So it's a 75% reduction. That's why Lady Ellen is so special, because we're right on the edge of the shelf. And the Tourism is almost a $6 billion a year industry to the Great Barrier, so it's a very financially important business. But more importantly, it's, it's an environmentally important business. We're doing a good job. The, the reef has turned the corner. Great positive outcomes are occurring and we're seeing more and more examples of that. But we can't rest on our laurels. We have to keep the pressure on to finding new ways, better ways to manage the park. <laughs> Eye on the Reef is a, a monitoring program where tourism operators collect data on key species which we then feed into the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority and the authority then get the big picture. We're out on the reef every day so we're able to see change as it's happening. Uh, we can then alert the authorities and actually have them come up and have a close look at something that's going on whether it be the onset of some coral bleaching or crown of thorn starfish appearing. We're finding more and more that our guests are interested in contributing to, to the understanding of the Great Barrier Reef. They are really want to know that their visit to the reef isn't having a negative impact. It's amazing, we often have people that are very nervous, they're very scared of snorkeling, they're, they're not great swimmers so, and are reluctant to get in. Uh, we persevere with, with those people and we get them in a life jacket, give them a noodle. Once we actually get them in the water, we really struggle to get them back out again at the end of the day. Uh, it's an incredibly unique environment that uh, everybody should get to see at least once in their life. <laughs>